Well, rapid Fed rate hikes have investors on the hunt for yield right now. And after a bumpy few years, they're now increasingly turning towards municipal bonds. One strategy has quietly gained steam in the space thanks to lower entry minimums. SMAs, or separately managed accounts, now make up 23% of municipal market ownership, outpacing mutual funds at 20%. That's according to data from J.P. Morgan. So what is so appealing about them? Let's bring in Jeff Johnson, Senior Vice President at Appleton Partners, for more on the state of the municipal market right now. Uh, as a former mutual fund guy, Jeff, I know the difference between them. But let's take us through why an SMA is more of a custom solution for a client as opposed to being in a mutual fund type product. Um, you're absolutely right. Um, SMAs have had extraordinary growth over the last three to four years. And, and I think it comes down to with an SMA, we're managing that individual or household's portfolio. The funds are not commingled with mutual fund, like a mutual fund or an ETF. So there's a lot more control. There's a lot more customization. And you had a year like last year with a lot of tax loss harvesting. We worked very closely with clients to kind of customize that, determine the levels of, of losses they wanted to realize. Plus, there's transparency. You can look at your portfolio every day, see exactly what's in it. So SMAs have really um, become almost a trillion dollars in assets in a four trillion dollar market so it's very compelling so so jeff wh one of the big things though about about smas as well I, I mentioned this lower barriers to entry you used to have to be a pretty high net worth individual with a big account size i mean forget hundreds of thousands sometimes it was in the millions of dollars to be able to put a customized portfolio of muni bonds together what has it gotten down to now so 250 is really kind of the minimum now um, and, and at Appleton, that's really what we start with, um, you know, with our clientele, which are mostly advisors that are outsourcing their clients' municipal uh, investment to an SMA strategy. But there's, there's reasons for that, and I think technology is a key part of it. There's, there's very sophisticated trading systems, portfolio accounting systems, where we can buy a block of bonds and allocate it across hundreds and hundreds of portfolios, knowing exactly what that's doing to the portfolio from a duration standpoint, from credit quality. So I would say technology has really helped us get those minimums lower, which becomes more attractive to a lot of investors. All right. So, so Jeff, let's pull the curtain back a little bit here. We don't want you to give away the store because you have a secret sauce, I'm sure, in picking these municipal bonds. But what exactly is the opportunity right now? What types of the bonds are you buying? Are there geographic locations, specific types of bonds? Is it revenue bonds? Is it general obligation? What exactly is the tax advantage opportunity right now? Yeah, and, and I'd start um, with the yield curve because um, credit selection and research, you know, we have an in-house research team which has to approve any bond that goes into a client's portfolio. But really, the yield curve right now is the story in the municipal market because you've got an inverted yield curve. So bonds in two, three, four years in the municipal market are actually yielding more than 10-year bonds right now. This has never happened in the municipal market, ever. We've sometimes seen it in the very short end of the curve. But that lets us do a barbell approach to building out a portfolio where we can, where we can invest uh, money's in the short end of the curve, picking up that extra yield, but also going a little further out, 10 to 15 years. So it's very compelling right now. You can get a 3% yield to maturity in an intermediate term municipal bond fund, um, and that's an attractive entry point. We haven't seen those yields in quite some time, so it's, it's, it's compelling. Okay, and we've just got about a couple seconds left here. Do you get scared about what the Fed could do for the rest of the year? I don't. I don't at all because it's it's pretty assured they'll go 25 basis points next week, put you in the five and a quarter, 550 uh, Fed funds range. That's priced into the municipal market. Um, I think we're very close to the top of rates, and I think going forward, reinvestment risk becomes something that municipal investors have to think more about. You don't want to be sitting on all this cash and lose that opportunity to get the yields that we have right now in the market. So, so we're, uh, you know, we're very constructive and we think it's a great time to, to enter the asset class. All right.
Jeff Johnson at Appleton, thank you very much for the Muni update there. We'll see you soon, sir. Thank you, Dom. All right. That does it for us here on The Exchange. Coming up on Power Lunch, Huntington Bank shares reporting better than expected earnings, but guidance came in a bit light. Steven Steinauer, the CEO, will join to discuss those results coming up on Power Lunch. Keep it right here. We're back after this quick commercial break. Have a great weekend. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni bonds. At Build America Mutual, we protect municipal bond investments that help modernize our essential infrastructure, unleashing new opportunities and building a more vibrant tomorrow. Invest in the future of America with BAM-insured bonds.